What's up guys, Sal here. So 15 years after the launch of the iconic Motorola Razr, Motorola is all set to bring back the legendary Razr phone in a new avatar. You see, ever since touchscreen smartphones took over, the candy bar form factor has been a staple in the smartphone industry. We no longer see brands gamble on unusual forms that were common back in the day. That, however, changed with the foldable smartphones with devices like the Samsung Galaxy Fold and Huawei Mate. X. And now Motorola also wants to join the party and is bringing back its uber popular Moto Razr in the form of a foldable smartphone. Today we have a first live image of the handset giving us an idea of what to expect from this when it finally goes official on Wednesday, November 15th. At first glance, it looks exactly like the device that Motorola unveiled 15 years ago. But there are noticeable and significant changes. First, it will have a single vertical display of 6.2 inches that will fold from the center, facilitated by two hinges at either side, much like the original Razer's mechanism. The chin is smaller this time and houses a fingerprint scanner. There will be a notch up top to house speakers and other sensors. There is an outer display of 2.6 inches of diagonal size that will be used to display information such as time, date, weather, and notification. By the way, if you are expecting flagship specifications from this new phone, then I guess you need to tone down your expectations. The new Razer will focus more on the nostalgic appeal of a flipping phone than function. Hence, it's best to not expect the phone to be a beast in terms of specifications. Here are the specs of the handset which may leave some disappointed. It will have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 710, a chipset that was launched in mid-2018, 4 and 6 gigs of RAM, 64 and 128 gigabytes of storage, and a 2730 mAh battery. It is expected to cost $1500. Yeah, that's way too expensive for what they're offering. But it's a new form factor. Foldable smartphones are still a new technology and will cost more. But once they start mass producing the panels, the cost should come down. Samsung is also working on a similar phone. Yesterday, they showcased a teaser of their second foldable smartphone that will have a punch hole display and a smaller form factor as the Moto Razr. In my opinion, this form factor doesn't provide anything much of value. 6.2 inch phones are pocketable already, so folding a 6.2 inch phone won't solve any problem. But Motorola is banking on the nostalgia for the success of this phone. You see, once upon a time, about 15 years ago, the Motorola Razr was the phone everyone wanted to have. The Razr was a fashion product and an iconic cell phone in the late 2000s. It was used in several TV shows and featured in several movies. So I guess people will buy this product purely on the basis of nostalgia and not because it's going to be super functional. Anyway, do let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.